So these solar flares are happening, autonomic nervous system is seriously impacted by this, everybody knows this. I know this from what happens in my system and I see how it is happening in other people's systems. Digestive system, your breathing process, your ability to digest, your ability to breathe and absorb what you need to absorb, everything is affected by the solar flares. I felt certain things within my system, then I inquired with a few people, what is happening, it's like, feels like this. Then they said the solar flares have kicked out and next six years they will be at a very high pitch, the kind of pitch that we have not seen in our lifetime at least. So now this solar activity, one way is in the Indian traditions and in scriptures and other things. I am not an expert on this, but I know it has been said that when solar activity rises like that, there could be a lot of death, there could be disease, there could be wars, there could be psychological imbalances, there could be a lot of turmoil in human life and lot of upheavals in animal life, every life on the planet because it affects your nervous system, digestive system, pulmonary system, everything. Now, is it causing harm to us? No, no. It's just like this. See, suppose the wind is blowing, you are trying to resist it. It'll be a real nuisance. You won't be able to do anything if the wind is blowing hard enough. Or let us say you want to fly. You want to fly, the wind is blowing like this, if you go into the wind, Without much effort, without much fuel, you'll just take off. If you try to go with it, your airplane will crash or your glider will cr crash, whatever it is you're trying to fly. So the wind is a boon for somebody who knows how to use it. It's a curse for somebody else who does not know how to use it. This is true with every force in the universe. So solar flares also are like this. These solar flares started about seventeen months ago maybe, which increased its activity. It could go on for another four and a half years. In this time, will humanity bring disaster upon themselves or will they bring realization and transformation upon themselves is in the hands of human beings. So, this, if you're conscious, this is a fantastic time because I want you to understand this, it is only in the summer when the sun is really hot, all the plants really burst out. They know how to make use of the sun's energy. You will say, oh, very hot, oh. Every season gives you something new to complain. Whether it is the climatic season or your life seasons, always complaining about something because you don't learn how to ride it. So these solar flats for a spiritual seeker who wants to transform his energy, ah well, this is a time when everything is cooking really well. So at that time, will we bring realization to the world or disasters to the world or will nations start shooting at each other, I don't know. I would like to see something very positive when wonderful happens. Anyway, I don't want a yes sir from you, but I want you to come to your senses because this is going to be next few years a charged up time on this planet. Are we going to use this charge for transformation, realization or are we going to stab at each other, kill each other, do something terrible to each other because some stimulus is happening in our body? we don't have equanimity, then we will damage each other. And there is enough scientific study today to support this. But this is… these solar flares have been marked in the yogic calendar in the past. Whenever solar flares rose to a certain pitch, it is happening all the time, but certain times, uh, I don't think there is any particular kind of time table for that, it is just happens for whatever reasons, I don't think anybody has really figured out why it happens and why the timing of it. 
Uh, because probably the cycles may be in millions of years, there is nobody here to observe that exactly why it happens at a certain given time. Our observations are all of a few centuries, so we really do not know. But whenever these solar flares happen, great yogis rose in that culture. At the same time, battles happened, disastrous events happened, sometimes earthquakes happened because the magnetic forces in the planet and the thermal forces in the core of the planet are all being influenced by the solar flares. So, when something like this is happening, the populations on the planet should have the wisdom to get themselves to the right place, so that this extra force that is being exerted upon this planet could work to our advantage. This is why approaching every aspect of your life becomes super important. Otherwise, there will be pain, there will be death, there will be problems. If we cannot change the whole world, that also should not be impossible in today's level of communication. Because never before, we could communicate with people as we can do today, because of the technologies we have. Using the technologies and the solar flares, we can make this next four and a half years tremendous time for humanity. But if we don't, at least segments of society, segments of human population could rise. Those who do not make use of it, we do not know how it will go. It's not like some kind of sweeping disaster will happen, earthquake will happen, flood will happen, it's not necessarily like that. But there is an extra stimulus on all the energies that work upon this planet, the geomagnetic forces and nuclear radiations and the magnetic tail that is there behind the earth and the way moon relates to the planet and how it redirects these energies of the flares towards the earth, what it does. All these things will have some kind of stimulus. But when extra power is there, you can do things which you cannot do without the necessary power, isn't it? So right now, it's that kind of a situation. There is extra everything on the planet and it's going to rise in the next year or so. When this happens, we can either break our bones or we can rise. It's marvelous that everybody should rise. Namaskaram everyone. Solar flares are washed of radiation from the sun that can impact earth. While strong flares can cause issues, let's talk about some strategies to generate energy and activate your inner fire. Engage in physical activity you enjoy. It could be brisk walk, dancing, yoga or a gym session. Exercise releases endorphins, natural mood elevators that boost energy levels. Surya Namaskar is powerful yoga sequence mimicking the sun's movement activates the body and ignite inner fire. Practices like Kapalbhati Pranayam with powerful exhalation can energize the body and mind. Eat a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean proteins. Avoid processed foods and excessive sugar which can lead to crashes. Dehydration can zap your energy. Aim to drink plenty of water throughout the day. A nutritious breakfast sets the tone for your energy levels. Include complex carbohydrates for sustained energy release. Meditation helps quiet the mind and cultivate inner peace. This calmness can paradoxically translate to increased energy and focus. Music can significantly impact mood and energy levels. Create a playlist with music that inspires and motivates you. Nature has a rejuvenating effect. Go for a walk in the park 
hike in the woods or simply sit outside and soak up the sun. Sunlight regulates your circadian rhythms and can boost energy levels. Remember, integrating these practices into your routine consistently will yield the best results. Experiment and discover what techniques resonate with you to activate your inner fire. Listen to your body. Rest and relaxation are crucial for recharging your batteries. Prioritize enough sleep and take breaks when needed. By incorporating these strategies, you can cultivate a sense of vitality and ignite your inner fire, allowing you to approach life with passion and purpose. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel, like and share this video to your friends and family.